Hey friends, happy Whole Foods Wednesday. I'm back with another recipe. Thank you so much for watching my last video. I know not everyone is here for vegan food. So for those of you who took the time to watch it, I appreciate you more than you know. And if you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you don't miss any future uploads. Now today's video is going to be another quick, easy recipe for you guys. So we're going to jump right into it. We're going to be making two ingredient high protein spicy lentil wraps. These are so perfect for so many different recipes. They're great for tacos. They're great to make homemade wraps. The opportunities are endless. Whatever you used to love to put in a wrap, you can use these for and they're just so easy to make and so delicious. So we're going to take our soaked red lentils. I soaked these for four hours. You want to soak these for a minimum of three, but you can soak them up to 12. So if you needed to soak them overnight so that you had the lentils ready the next day so that you can make something for lunch or dinner, you could do that and that would work. And then we're going to place them in our blender or our food processor with our seasonings. I just have some cayenne pepper and some garlic powder here. And then we're going to blend these until they're nice and smooth. We're looking for a pancake-like batter. Now, I just wanted to add that you could definitely switch up the flavors in this however you like. If you don't want spice, you could take it out. You could use some onion powder. You could use some Indian spices. Whatever you like, you could add to this and switch it up and play around with it. It's a super easy recipe. People have been doing it forever. Um, everyone has their own different way of doing it. But this is how I do it and this is what I think is delicious. So I thought I'd share with you guys because I know a lot of people don't know about the two ingredient wraps and I have so many of those available and I will be sharing as many of those as possible with you guys. So as you can see here, it's nice and thick and smooth and so it's ready for us to pop onto our griddle. So I have a dash griddle maker I got off Amazon. This is not sponsored, but I wanted to share it with you guys because it is a great product for no oil cooking, but you can use whatever pan that you like that's non-stick. I just love this one because it releases so easy. So when you're making your wraps or your taco shells, you want to make sure that you have some type of ladle to do it because it really helps to dump it out and then kind of like smooth it out it's almost like you're spreading sauce on a pizza and you want to just try to get the top as even as possible and I kind of time lapse this for you guys so you can watch it how quickly it starts to cook if you can see here around the edges it's starting to change color and that's how you can tell that it's cooking all the way through and once it starts to cook through it's easier to flip so you want to let it go for at least three or four minutes before you even try to start releasing it to flip it but it works really well without oil so I wanted to show you guys that you can make it big or small so right here I went ahead and made a larger wrap and it's the exact same concept it takes a little longer I usually cook it on each side for about five minutes when I do the larger wraps just because waiting to flip it is so important so that it doesn't break or it doesn't crack. But these are pretty sturdy as they are and they're really easy to make as you can see here. I feel like people probably assume that these take a lot more effort than they do but they really truly are so quick and easy to make and they're so easy to deal with. So just the biggest tip I want to give to you guys is that you try to even them out as much as possible and that you wait until you flip them because if you flip them too soon, you're going to crack them and you're going to break them or you're going to mess up the bottom part. Like it's going to stick and it's going to get all um, funny, which on this one you can see after I flip it, there's a little bit of like a an imperfection on the other side because I was trying to mess with it too soon. So I let this one go for about five or six minutes and then I went ahead and flipped it. But you see here, these are so sturdy. They're so delicious. They're perfect to just toss some black beans in and have a quick and easy taco night. Or you can add some avocado and veggies, some grilled veggies and have a quick, easy, delicious, high protein wrap. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, don't forget to tag me on Facebook or Instagram. Thank you guys so much for watching. 
like, comment, subscribe. It helps me so much. And we'll see you in the next video with another whole food plant-based oil-free recipe. Bye.